Now, before this video starts, I just want to point out two things. One, I'm not responsible for any damage caused to your Kindle Fire HD or Android tablet. And second, if this tutorial doesn't work for you, don't complain. It doesn't work on everybody. On uh, most of the cases, it does, but in some cases, it doesn't. So yeah, keep those two things in mind. Hello everybody, it's your boy Elite HD here, and today we have our first tutorial. Now, our first tutorial is going to be how to fix a Kindle Fire HD black screen. Now this problem actually is that some Kindle Fires, um, when do you turn them on, nothing pops up, it's black. But you can still hear sound, but you can't see anything. You can still hear sound, but you, you can't hear anything. See? It doesn't turn on. So I'm actually gonna be telling you guys how to fix this. So here we go. Our first step is to get a flathead screwdriver. And on the edges, like so, you see the edges? We are actually gonna Put the screwdriver on the edges. Actually, I'm gonna stand up a little bit. Oh, it's a bit hard, but you actually get the screwdriver on there. You push it up a little bit, and it's gonna slowly pop out, like so. Alright, it's gonna pop out. Alright, and now you're gonna slowly pop all, all the back case off. Like so. If it doesn't come off, be pa be be patient. It's kinda hard. Alright. Alright, it came off. Now we have, this is our battery, you don't want to touch this, this is extremely dangerous. Alright, so right here we got our battery connection which we want to take out for protection. We don't want to touch any of that stuff while it's on. And right here we got our digitizer. Now actually it's disconnected. And that's one of the most common reasons why the display is black. So when this is this when this is this disconnected, the screen doesn't pop up. And that's one of that's one of the most common reasons the screen doesn't show up. So what you're actually going to do is you're actually gonna pop it back up. You can see right here, you can you put it, it's kind of hard, you have to be patient. Alright, just push it in there. Oh. Alright. Alright, when you, when, in, when it's in, you just close it down, and we're all done. And sometimes this other one is disconnected as well. Maybe if you drop it. And you're going to do the same. You're actually going to put it back. It's the same thing, but a different cable. This one's actually a bit harder. Since it's, um... Oops. Oh my god. It's kind of hard. Put it in there. Actually, I'm gonna put it off, off camera for a little bit. All 
All right, now it's in. You can see right now. All right, so that's the most common reason it might get for the screen to be off. So we're going to put our battery back on. We put it back on. We check that everything is connected. Both cables are connected. Let me just check real quick. All right, now that we have all cables connected, we're gonna seal back our Kindle Fire. Wait, which way? Oh yeah, this way. We just put it back on. You pop it real nice. Also, where were we? Yeah, you pop it real nice. All right. Make sure every side is popped, popped in. All right, so now for the moment of truth. Does it work? It does work. See, uh, mostly the reasons the cables are disconnected is maybe because you drop the, the tablet and yeah inside it get it gets disconnected so that's one of the main reasons if this method didn't work it might be that your screen is broken but in this case it's, it was just a little disconnected cable so yeah we didn't have to go to um other consequences Alright guys, that's it for this video. If it worked for you, be sure to leave a like. And if it didn't, just leave a like. It helps a lot and it shows a little bit support to the channel. I will be making more tutorials in the future about more repair stuff. But yeah, hopefully this tutorial worked for you. As Like I said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, as always... I'll see you again in the next one.